Imagine yourself walking calmly down a busy street and suddenly you come face to face with a police officer who is not human. Got it? Not human? A real robot in uniform using artificial intelligence to identify faces, follow suspects and even ignore kids playing with water guns. Today I'm going to show you the first let's say Robocop real in the life we live. Today it's not the future, it's the present already patrolling the streets and raising a question that's puzzling many people. Are we trading freedom for security? And what will happen to the jobs of human police officers in this new world? Automated? I know. Asking for likes and subscriptions to the channel is as annoying as being stopped by a speed camera in the middle of the desert. But if I don't ask, you'll pretend you forgot. So here's the deal, if you don't like and subscribe now, the next robot police officer. That approach is you will force you to watch all the old videos on the channel, including the outdated ones, without skipping the ad. So, better not risk it, I'll give you 3 seconds to subscribe and hit the like button. Awesome, let's go. Changing the scene in Beijing, an unusual marathon placed humans and robots side by side. There were 21 robots competing against 10,000 people over a 21 kilometer course. Despite the engineer's good intentions, the robot still lagged far behind. One of them took more than two and a half hours to complete the race. Others fell, collided with barriers or needed technical assistance to continue. Despite the weak performance, the event made it clear that the evolution of biped robots is just beginning. In other words, police robot, marathon robot, Let's continue. During the Songkran festival, the Thai police surprised everyone by presenting the AI policy Cyborg 1.0, a robot inspired by Robocop uh, with um, 360 degree cameras and real time facial recognition. Although this robot remains stationary at the designated location, it is not passive. It processes images from street cameras, drones, and sends immediate alerts to the provincial command center in case of suspicious behavior. It is capable of identifying specific individuals by their face, clothing, and even objects that appear to be weapons, ignoring only toys like water guns. It reminds me of that Tom Cruise movie, Minority Report, where artificial intelligence identifies a crime before it happens, based on the possibility of it happening, but already condemns the person without the crime having occurred. Crazy. Are we heading towards that? Comment below. Continuing. The official name of the robot is PC Coli Nucleopaton Plate Pi. And then what it means is Nancopaton is safe. Sorry, I'm not sure if that's how it's pronounced. Comment below afterwards beyond the technology. The symbolism reinforces the main purpose aim of this innovation, to enhance public safety during large crowd events. The creation of Cyborg 1.0 was the result of a partnership between the provincial police of Region 7, Thailand and the police of Nakom and the city hall of Nakopeton. In March, Shenzhen, China launched humanoid patrol robots capable of interacting with pedestrians and obeying voice commands. Asia is immersed in a true technological race to see who leads public safety with artificial intelligence. At the Disney Research Lab, a humanoid robot was presented capable of reflecting human emotions like shyness and excitement in real time. Inspired by characters like Wally, -E, that robot Dagot character, eh, nah, it detects people's gestures and emotions and reacts almost instantly, creating much more human interaction. Behind this emotional responsibility is a combination of AI model. A diffusion system generates fluid movements like waves and gentle gestures, while a classifier interprets quick actions like greeting someone or giving a thumbs up. The training of Disney's robot was done in a very curious way. Human operators controlled the robot remotely, responding intuitively to human interactions. These responses were recorded, feeding the AI system so that the robot could act autonomously with natural gestures. Oh, and if while you're watching you feel the urge to understand how to turn this whole artificial intelligence revolution into a real money-making machine, stay tuned. I will tell you about my monetization mentorship, Master of Artificial Intelligence, where I teach. 
how to use AI to create new sources of income and scale businesses, whether in the digital or physical world. If you're ready to make money with intelligence and not brute force, pay attention, because this could be the turning point you've been waiting for. To keep it brief, I will leave the link in the video description and pinned in the first comment. If you want my help, I will be very happy to assist. Go to the link to get informed. Returning to the topic, Disney also developed the Newton engine in partnership with NVIDIA and Google DeepMind. This technology creates extremely realistic virtual environments where robots train movements like manipulating fabrics or walking on uneven terrain before facing the real world. With Newton, Disney's robots can optimize their movements, simulating various possibilities before acting. This technology is already being used in robotic characters at theme parks, such as the droids inspired by Star Wars, which were presented at the NVIDIA event. Kyle Lautin, Senior Vice President of R&D at Walt Disney, by the way. Just to draw a parallel, today's episode has quite difficult names, right? But let's go. The Disney executive stated that they are creating a new generation of robots that not only assist but also emotionally connect with the audience, making them laugh, feel moved and even impressed with high level acrobatic movement. I often say that the most requested videos here on the channel, the ones most watched, are related to robotic companions, friends, robots, girlfriends, and boyfriends. People are looking to replace humans with machines. If you had the money, would you buy one? Comment below. In Beijing, during the robot marathon, some wore accessories like boxing gloves and headbands to entertain the audience. So there have been marathon runners, there have been police officers, and now robots that fight, right? Even so, several robots stumbled, hit barriers, and needed assistance to continue. The organizers made it clear that the goal was not to win, but to showcase what has already been achieved in terms of robot mobility. Bipeds, let's go to war, right? I've already made a video here about military robots. I believe you should watch it and also about cooking robots. Indeed, there's also an episode just about that, so check it out later. Alan Fern, a robotics professor at Oregon State University, commented that despite being visually impressive, these events are still far from demonstrating intelligence, practicality, or the useful working capacity of robots on a large scale. The Chinese government is investing heavily in AI and robotics to boost economic growth and compete directly with the United States. Tang Jian, CTO of the Tang Laboratory, emphasized that the future of robots lies in practical applications such as factory work and domestic service and not in stunts to impress. I'm tired of seeing robots doing somersaults, jumping, running. I want a robot that takes care of the house, that cleans the bathroom, cooks for me, and makes my coffee. I would simply sell the car and buy one immediately if necessary, right? If I can keep both the car and the robot, that's fine too. What would you do? Would you sell your car to have a robot that does everything for you? Comment below. In Las Vegas, the Autonomous Hotel promises to redefine the concept of accommodation. With 550 suites equipped with artificial intelligence, the hotel will learn guests' preference, starting from breakfast. Ideal, even for choosing the video game available in the room. Now, that's really good. Without receptionists, everything will be controlled by apps and virtual assistants. Those who prefer can still opt for traditional service. The daily rates will be around $300, and the hotel is scheduled to open in May 2025, which means it's coming soon. At the autonomous tube, uh, two different air engines control the entire experience. The FRO, which manages room bookings and customizations, and the K, which act, acts as a digital key and personal assistant for guests. The hotel also explained in simple terms the four stages of artificial intelligence development. Let's go. Reactive, without memory. Limited memory learns from recent data. Theory of mind in development to understand human emotions and self-sufficient still theoretical. In the world of supermarkets, Okat's robotic arms are showing how machines can be product. Using computer vision and machine learning, these arms can pack delicate fruits without damaging them. What one arm learns, all the others share, accelerating the evolution process. This adaptability is changing logistics in distribution centers without the need to expand physical space or increase the number of human workers. In addition to traditional methods, OCAT has incorporated generative AI based on diffusion to teach its robotic arms to quickly adapt to new products 
increasing operational efficiency without the need for extensive training. Among police officers, robots, marathon runners, mechanics, emotional robots, and smart hotels, this year is making it clear. The future, which seemed distant, is already knocking at our door. It remains to be seen. To what extent are we prepared to live side by side with these new digital creatures? Now I want to know your opinion. This video doesn't end now. It continues with us chatting in the comments. If you find this video interesting, like it, share it, and hit the subscribe button on the channel.